guys to get a lot of credit is Steve Blackman uh, for muscular development. I mean, those guys have done an extraordinary job for years and years and years to promote health, to promote fitness, to mo promote strength, to promote bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting, and all of those kind of things. So the contributions they made is gigantic, and I hail them for that. Brian Harris here from MuscularDevelopment.com, bringing you our coverage of the Arnold Classic Weekend, brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. Standing here with Jonathan De La Rosa, who's back for more. This is your first show of 2018 season. Uh, so, three? Would you hit three shows last year, right? Three shows last year. I did the New York Pro, I did Toronto Pro, and I did uh, the St. Louis show as well. Yeah. yeah. And I saw you two weekends in a row. It was two weeks in a row, right? Two weeks in a row. This close, both times in a row. I'm sure I've asked this before, but is that the hardest place to take a second when you're uh, that close? Absolutely. I'd rather place last. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's good. You know, it gives you, uh, you know, now being removed from the situation, during the situation, it, it hurts like hell. But being removed from the situation, it just reminds you like, hey, you're right there. Keep it going. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I guess I try to take the positive away from it. Um, and, you know, it just kind of actually fueled my fire to just be that much better this year. And that's kind of what drove me all off season into this prep. It's my first Arnold um, here in Ohio. I've done the Arnold Classic Brazil and Spain and the other ones, um, South Africa as well. So this is my first one here in Ohio. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to just getting up there and uh, banging heads with the top guys and showing the world that uh, I belong in that top group. So, you know, obviously you belong here you've done very well in many top shows already yeah. you've been at you've been in that top echelon guy i've, I've been chipping guys. away at it chipping away yeah, for yeah. a long time yeah. but i mean you know when you when you looked at pictures or you got any feedback what did you take away from last year that you needed to improve on to finally start shutting down these other guys well i think um the size is there i oh, think yeah. i think it's yeah i think it's there um i think it's always been a conditioning thing with me um whether it's being dry enough or not being lean enough, you know, that's, it's kind of the balance for me. So for me, what I've been able to do is for New York, we ate up a little bit too much and kind of spilled over going into uh, the morning and tried to correct, but it was already too late. For Toronto, I under ate and I was much drier, but I also didn't have that pop that I had in New York. So it, you know, it's a balance. And I think that that's part of what I love about this sport is that it, every year is different. Um, and every year is another opportunity to learn what works best for you and, and kind of nailing that um, and presenting the world or the bodybuilding world with that. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think this year is going to be a, a different ball game. Yeah. And I mean, the one thing that really surprised me last year is you were prepping yourself. Just yeah. everyone feels like they need a coach in yeah. 2017, 2018. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you probably learned more about, you probably knew your own body better all along anyway. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, I think people forget I've been doing this since I was 17. Um, so we all go through our, I'm not saying I'll never have a coach again. There's some phenomenal coaches in this industry that are really very good. Um, but for the most part, I feel like, uh, you know, I know, I know and understand my body well enough to get myself in shape um, and to, you know, bring myself to the stage. This year, I, and like last year, I, I have amazing friends, Victor Martinez, uh, my dad, my wife. I have so many people in my corner who have like, you know, been able to help push me and, and make sure that I'm not doing any, I'm not falling one way or the other. Um, so this year has been an incredible year as always. Uh, I have Victor here, Matt Jansen's been like taking a, taking a look at me and keeping an eye on me, making sure that I'm just doing, staying, you know, staying on course and doing what I'm supposed to do. And um, I've just been blessed, you know, I, every time I get to compete, it's a dream come true for me. I grew up watching this sport with my dad being a bodybuilding fan and competing himself and always living that lifestyle. I grew up wanting I to get be through. I could ask about yeah. what. How is he doing? Is he going to compete again? My dad he, is he's doing, got a hell of a physique too. Yeah, yeah. My dad is doing Team U this year. For those who don't know, his dad pretty much looks exactly. just like a slightly older version of him. That's it. Yeah. It's almost like a clone. When he watches this, he's going to be so happy. <laughs> no, but I'm not kidding. I'm, I know some people sure. would be exaggerating. It's true. Same arm, same legs. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, talk about Apple not falling far from the tree. I know, I know. <laughs> So it's, it's truly a blessing for me to be here, um, 
to be sharing the stage with these incredible athletes. I mean, these, these guys are the best, some of the best in the world. And, um, you know, so first and foremost, it's a blessing for me, but I'm out for blood this year, man. I, I, I really feel like, um, you know, everybody here trains hard, but I've really put a, a million percent into this. Um, and I think it's going to be a good year for me. Hey, you know, we, we do have some really big names going in this year, which on one hand, it means, well, people aren't really expecting a whole lot from you because right. we got Dexter, we got Bonac, we got yeah. these guys. But that also means you could pull a, a big shocker and, and that's, well, we're not going to know until you guys walk out yeah. there. And that's, that's, a, that's been a huge motivating factor for me. Um, not, and nothing against the other guys, but I've had my eye on Dexter and Bonac this whole prep. They're my height. Uh, I carry just as much muscle as both of them, if not more. Um, so it's going to come down to conditioning. And if I can hang with them on the conditioning, I think we're going to really uh, open up some eyes and let the bodybuilding world see what I can do. Um, it wasn't too long ago that I was beating Bonac. Yeah, that's right. That's so, right. Uh, and I, I fully plan on, you know, like I said, showing the world that I, I'm right there. And you know, a few people we talked to, like uh, doing predictions, Kevin Leveroni wouldn't do any predictions. He says, you never know. You never, never know. know who's going to come out of the pack. You never and, know. Right. And even Ronnie said that before. He says, you know, I was one of those guys that nobody paid attention to. No. And then one year, boom. Right. right. I'm Mr. Olympia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's not, I'm not here to make predictions. I just want, I want my shot to stand next to them. Um, one, because I need to prove it to myself, which I've, I've convinced myself I belong. Uh, but I also need to prove it to the judges and, and the bodybuilding world that that's, I do belong in that group. Well, we look very much looking forward to seeing what you got. I'd love to see you, you know, pull a big surprise and come you. out of come out of nowhere like, yeah. oh shit, we forgot about De La Rosa. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Look at him yeah. now. Yeah. So, wishing you the best of luck, Thank man. You As so always, much. you're one of the hardest workers. You. You've always stayed humble. Just keep quiet and show up. That's it. ready to ready to old take school, heads off. Old school bodybuilding. That's what it is. <laughs> so wishing Thank you, you the best so much, Ron. Thank Appreciate you so much. You. Thank you guys. For MuscleDevelopment.com, it's been Ron Harris with Jonathan De La Rosa.